All right, hello and welcome back to Home Versus House. I'm Lisa and this is a channel where I share budget-friendly home decor and lifestyle ideas. Guys, I have showed this space um, before in my summer look and I am just bringing it back again for an early fall look. Um, and I hope that this inspires someone to just kind of get started on their uh, fall decor. Um, many of these pieces in here, either DIY, um, things that I've had for quite some time or thrifted. And so I'll take you around to the space and just kind of give you an update um, from, since, from when I last showed this place. So up on this wall, I didn't do anything different, I think, from um, how I did it this summer. These three pieces were thrifted pieces that I spray painted gold. Um, I've had this mirror for quite some time. And uh, the two wall sconce on either side, they were wooden um, that I picked up. I think it was from Salvation Army. Um, and um, sometime uh, back, I want to say either last year or early this year, and I spray painted it gold, as I said before, and um, I really like the gold and navy blue. In fact, I recently have been incorporating a lot of gold tones um, in my space, more than I had before. Up on this wall, I didn't do any changes here. This was a piece that I really like. Um, it's a neutral piece um, to me and it stays up here pretty much all year round. Down here, um, I have this golden um, thrifted lamp and then the lampshade came from Ross many years ago. And I just have a, a few garden books that I picked up thrifting. Um, and this plant, um, this house plant, um, I can't remember the name of it, but um, I uh, picked um, two of them up um, sometime this summer from my local garden center. So I have it here. Also, what you'll see in my space is a collection of blue and white pieces. I've been collecting blue and white pieces since last summer, and I just have it distributed throughout my home. And this is one of the space. This is my living room slash sitting room. So down here, I have this thrifted plate, um, and it's sunflower. So sunflower to me represent fall. Um, and I have it here, you'll see as I go about this space, um, a couple of different areas where I have um, some plates or bowls. I call those my catch-all uh, bowls. So for example, um, this hairpin that did not make it into the bowl or the plate will go here. Um, and it's just a way for us to gather things that maybe when we come into this space and we're sitting down, um, sometimes we're coming in from um, outside our um, outings and we're taking off jewelry sometimes here, hairpins as you can see, or just like other knickknacks we're sitting down on the table. And rather than just spread it out on the table, this is a way to just corral um, things that we can put away later. And then I have this thrifted um, coaster here and these are a set of five um, that I picked up from various um, thrifting um, and different um, thrift stores, but they nevertheless were some matching pieces. And so I have about five of them. Over here on this couch, um, I've also had this couch for many years, probably over 13 years. It's still very comfortable. Um, it's deep and just um, comfortable. So on this couch, I have um, some DIY throw pillows. Um, let's see the lighter color. Um, I picked up this fabric from Hobby Lobby. Um, I picked up a yard and it was enough to make two uh, throw pillows. And then I had the fillers. So um, I did these pillows out of it. Love the tones. I also use um, a similar kind of um, peachish 
uh, pinkish tone here this summer and I wanted to um, continue that for the fall. I did though add this deeper uh, burnt red, another fall color of mine. So, um, and the two um, burnt red throw pillows, they were actually um, pillow shams that I had um, of a set many years ago. And I have since gotten rid of the set, but I found one of the sham <laughs> Uh, recently and um, I decided to convert it or um, upcycle it into um, throw pillows. So that's what's sitting over here. On this table I pretty much mirrored the other um, side. I have another bowl here um, with um, on the rims it's this beautiful um, decor and the colors are um, just again remind me of fall and again have some knickknacks in there just some catch-all um, items that will hopefully get put away sometime up here on this wall I have this um, this shelving unit was a DIY project that I did um, some years back and then I have three of my thrifted blue and white pieces um, up here so I also had this setup similarly in the summer as well the uh, mirror was a thrifted piece um, that i've had for quite some time and i spray painted it um, gold at the beginning of the summer so for the fall i just added these two cloth pumpkins um, that i picked up at the end of the fall season from either dollar general or family dollar um, and I have it here to bring in that kind of fall vibe. This piece here, um, I showed this in a recent um, thrift haul video. Um, really like it. It's got the wheat that also um, represent harvest for me and fall season. And then my announcer guy, I've had some for quite some time. It's a thrifted piece that I spray painted gold recently as well. So. That's that for this side. The curtains I kept for the summer. So those were um, some originally Amazon curtains that I purchased. I purchased, I think, a set of maybe six. Um, I have a set here. And then I just added um, my own touch to the, to the um, sides of it. Uh, using some fabric that I'd picked up from, um, I think, Joanne's fabric um, early in the spring. So didn't do anything here, um, but the, the blues and the um, stripe kind of, uh, I felt like it works really well in here for the fall as well. Over here, I have these two um, chairs and um, they're like a reddish, um, they actually look more orange stripe, but I'm not sure how they're showing up on the video. And then I, um, on a recent video, I showed um, how I made two, um, two throw pillows for my bedroom out of animal prints, which is something I am incorporating in this space for the season. And so this was just leftover fabric um, that I had, and I made these two smaller um, animal print um, throw pillows for here. The coffee table. So the last time I showed this space, it was a natural wood color that I had um, stripped the table. Um, and this also was a thrifted table that I picked up um, a couple of years ago. And so I've had it in another space. I bought it up here in, during the summertime and I had intended to, um, to put a darker finish on it. So I did that a few weeks ago and I really liked the way it turned out. Um, and then on it, I just have some um, thrifted coffee books with a couple um, more um, thrifted blue and white pieces. So this here, my quail, 
is something that I bring out in the fall as well in our area. We tend to see them in the fall. Um, sometimes it's a family walking across um, some of the walking paths that we have here. So I have it out here um, for the fall because it reminds me of fall. The rug was something that I got the end of last year. Um, and um, I knew I was incorporating some blue and white um, and some pink tones, red tones in here. And um, it fits really nicely in here. So I got this again from Amazon um, the end of last year. I have another set of the coaster here on this side of the coffee table to sit drinks down. Let's see up here, I have some black and white prints, of uh, some family prints, and I try to um, get when we were close to um, a particular age, um, and I did some black and white prints, and then I put it in some thrifted um, uh, frames that I think the middle one I spray painted gold. This thrifted mirror, I also spray painted gold. Um, I think it was springtime uh, this year and I have it over here. Um, also, you will see that I have a lot of mirrors here or a few uh, mirrored pieces here just because this room is small and um, I only have this window here, which is a, a you know, an okay size window, but um, I like the mirrors in here because it reflects the light and um, it brings in more light um, here. So this, um, this bookshelf was a thrifted piece that I picked up at the end of the COVID shutdown uh, for like 40 bucks. And so I have some thrifted books on here. Also, I have some thrifted blue and white pieces that I have shown here before. So I have this um, candle, two of the candle holders. Um, this canister I have had since last year and I had it in other spots in my home and I bought it out here. Then I have my pothos plant that I've had for many years sitting on the top. And then down below is um, my love seat and um, these were also some thrifted. Actually, the this um, lighter like pinkish salmon pink color I picked up, I think it was from Ross some years ago. And then the back was some thrifted um, place uh, mats um, that there were a set of four and I just, um, a couple of years ago, I sewed them together and uh, made this um, throw pillow co cover that I'm using here. And again, it's that burnt red that I really enjoy in my space for the fall. Up above here, I have this thrifted pieces that I had on another wall, so I moved it over here. And then this piece was a thrifted frame that I spray painted gold, and I just cut out a um, page out of one of my um, garden books, and I have it here. Down over here, I just have some fireplace utensils, um, my watering can for my um, plants. Um, I have this thrifted um, lantern that I spray painted gold a while ago. And then I have my peace lily plant um, in that corner. And then up above on the mantle, I have this blue and white piece that I picked up recently from TJ Maxx. Um, and again, it just really complements some of the pieces that's already in here. My, um, I added two um, more clot pumpkins over here. And then this candle um, holder, um, it's a three-prong candle holder that I picked up thrifted. Um, 
some time back and I spray painted it gold and I had it up here for the summer as well but I had um, some lighter candles um, I think it's like some peach color candles in there and I just switched it out recently for these darker red that again represents fall for me up over here this thrifted mirror I put up um, this summer I spray painted uh, gold and I really like that um, spray painted in gold, it brought out some of the embellishment um, better. Then I have my Monsera plant that is growing. Um, I, I had gotten this plant last year and it has grown quite a bit. So I have it up here out of the way. And then the pot, the blue tone pot came from, um, I think Home Goods. Um, sometime earlier this year let's see what else over on this wall i have three thrifted pieces and i think i showed um, at least two of them um, on my recent thrift haul um, i spray painted the frames gold and the top one is just a fall scene the middle one is sunflower again sunflower represents fall for me and then um, another piece with like a sunflower um, patch um, I have it here I think the bottom one is actually a photograph on the this table so this is a thrifted sewing table that I'm just using um, I'm not using it as a sewing table I'm just using it as um, just a, a table where we can sit things um, down here in this space. Um, I have this thrifted pumpkin that I got some time back and then another pothos plant with some thrifted books and this um, thrifted blue and white piece. And then this lamp I also um, picked up thrifting um sometime in the summer from my local restore so i have it here again in this in the darker months um lots of lots of lights in this lamps and things like that we like to use the lamps versus the um overhead light um and also this is a way to bring some light to my plants as well over here in this corner, um, this is a thrifted wick basket that um, I had actually outdoor for the summer and I recently brought it in because I like the fact that it has that, that dark tone and I needed some place to store, throw blankets that I use in here. So that's a way to store them. Let's see, I think this is it for this space. I think the only thing that I didn't show was this thrifted um, reading lamp. Um, I recently got this from my local um, uh, restore and I really like it because it has, it's a dimmer and um, it actually has two lights, but we have been using just one and it's just really nice. Um, you can find a family member um, of mine's pretty much at any time um, during the course of our um, our evening curled up here um, since we've had this lamp um, either reading from an actual um, like hard copy book or a Kindle and so it's just a really nice space and then over on the I have this small table um, that I've had for many years in fact I, I think I got it the same time I got my couch from the same furniture store and on the table I have this thrifted bowl that's also a catch-all bowl I showed this bowl um, as part of my thrift haul recently and then another coaster of that set I really like the way it turned out I may add some uh, more fall pieces but um, I'm really pleased with just some sprinkle of fall as it's still early fall and guys, I so this is something I shared um, when I um, talked about this space before. I really am trying to do more of a 
I, I do like to decorate for the seasons, but I wanted it to be less. So I wanted to, um, I've been working at this space to really just create an everyday look, um, all year round look. And then I can just switch out a few pieces, um, like seasonal pieces as the season change. So I'm, I'm really incorporating that um, here as well. And I'm, gl I'm so happy with the way it's turning out. It is making my fall decor more fun for me where it's not overwhelming. Um, I'm just switching out like throw pillows and just a couple of pieces, the blue and white pieces I really like in my space all year round. And so um, for as long as I'm liking it, I'll keep it. And then again, as the season change, just uh, switch out. So I'm already thinking of winter. Winter probably um, the main things that's going to switch out is the throw pillows. Maybe the darker red. I'll have like another shade, like a burgundy is another color that I like to use in, in the winter. So again, just creating a space where... Um, it's fun to be in, it's comfortable to be in, it serves its purpose, and I can decorate it seasonally, which is what I like to do um, without having much of a hassle. So lastly, guys, I um, I talked about this um, this wall that I did this summer, and I'll share a little bit about it here in this video so i wanted an accent wall in here and i'm really i sat and thought about um <laughs> this color for quite some time i really like this salmon pink it actually reminds me of my caribbean heritage um so growing up in the caribbean my grandma um my grandparents house was actually painted this salmon color pink and when i saw it i just had some uh, throwback moments and um, I actually really do enjoy the color so it was a bold color to put in here but um, I am liking it um, and um, yeah I did this wall I wanted to kind of give a wallpaper effect and so I painted the salmon color pink um, at the bottom and let it dry and then I just took some white paint and a faux um, floral, um, dipped it in a white paint and just kind of splat it out. It didn't come out like you can't see the actual floral piece. So it, it looks more as a, as a, um, splat painting, but I'm still happy with the way it turned out. So that's what I did in here for the summer and it works for the fall as well. All right, guys, I'm going to stop the video here, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this gives you ideas on what to do in your space for the season, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.